Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to yet another video from your favorite man child, Super Jesus Jackson. It's been a long time since I've done a Bruno Mars video, but here we are again, thanks to Anderson Pock or Anderson dot Pock and Bruno Mars collaborating to create the silky smooth silk sonic musical duo. I gotta be honest here. I love Bruno Mars's work, okay, from his first album, Doo-Wops and Hooligans, to Unorthodox Jukebox, and then, obviously, to 24K Magic. This guy is basically a Michael Jackson 2.0, okay? Simple as that. And, I mean, he's really the closest guy to compare, really, to Michael Jackson, other than, like, Kanye West. But... It's funny because I'm doing a video on this song from Silk Sonic that I love, but <sighs> Bruno, listen to me very carefully. Go back to making pop songs, okay? Just do it, please, please do it for the fans, do it for me, do it for everyone else in this world that really wants to see you back with the pop game. Now, of course... This genre of music that you're doing with Silk Sonic, R&B, soul, funk, very pop, back in the 70s. <laughs> but, you know, come on, like, we gotta get with the times, or advance the times, okay? Now, I love this sound, obviously, but, you know, if I want to listen to this, I'll go listen to artists from the 70s. God, it really sounds like I'm shitting on Bruno Mars right now. God, it's terrible. Because this guy is totally pulling off things that I can only ever dream of. Uh, so, and I know that there's plenty of people that are loving what he's doing. And look, to be fair, Bruno Mars has always incorporated in some way old music, old elements, right, from music into his new music. Like, uh, of course, we saw that with Treasure in Unorthodox Jukebox, and we saw a lot of the doo-wop influence uh, from his earlier album. So it's in there, okay? But he also had the, you know, typical mainstream pop. And it honestly wasn't a lot of that that attracted me to Bruno Mars. It was more of his experimental stuff, you know, like Moonshine, uh, which has sounded very old, but also sounded very new, and songs like Gorilla, for example. And then we went into 24K Magic, and the dude ended up sounding retro, but new. And that's the sweet spot that I really wanted to get. You know, you listen to something like 24K Magic, or That's What I Like. It sounds so old. <laughs> I mean, no, it doesn't sound old. It sounds, it's, it has old elements. They sound retro, but at the same time, they incorporate modern elements from hip-hop, like the percussion with the snares. And obviously the production sounds state of the art. It reminds me a lot like what Michael Jackson did with Thriller. Okay, <laughs> does that ring a bell? Anyways, rant done, rant done, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will, I will do the reaction and analysis, okay? But yes, we are doing Silk Sonics after last night. Once again, thank you so much for tuning back into this channel. It means the absolute world to me. Now, if you are new to this, this is what we do. You get your phone. I get my phone. Or whatever way that you're hearing the song, vinyl, cassette, CD, whatever. And you press play on it at the same time that I do. Okay? So we both get to groove and listen together. It's kind of hot. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Sorry about that, guys. I had to switch uh, headphones here because, you know, I, I just, I got to get that Bose action, you know? It's where I really get the highest sort of uh, audio experience. Uh, I might be wrong. All of you uh, Sony heads, Audio Technica, Sennheiser. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> Oh, baby. 
Normally I don't stutter, but you did, 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 did do it to me. Lord. Oh. Oh god, the song just started all over again and just the drums, the way it begins and then the bass, the doom 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 doom. Oh god, it just like kind of like peruses around your ears and it just Hold on, let me let me take this shiz off. This song, like a lot of Silk Sonic songs, uh, it just have kind of a spacey, psychedelic uh, quality to them, very ethereal, you know, and a lot of it has to do with, obviously, 70s soul was very psychedelic in many ways, uh, so it makes sense, uh, but the instruments obviously are very reverberated, okay, everything here is like in a giant fucking hall, empty ass hall, you know, like, and it sounds very sacred, it sounds like a fucking, like, church song, you know, about love and about mm, you know but god look Anderson Pack, of course, is fantastic on the drums, super talented individual, and I love his voice. And I also love how Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack Pack are both together in this song. And in fact, in this whole album, like they're a team here, you know, no one outshines the other. And I, that's really commendable. My favorite part right off the bat, I will tell you, is the end, okay? The vocals, okay, of Bruno Mars. Uh, 
Oh, God, it's so good. I sound like crap when I do it, but when he does it, it sounds like God. Oh, God. I hear a song like this, and it makes me fall in love all over again, and it makes me experience sex for the first time all over again. <laughs> The synth sounds are really, really cool, and obviously, this song, along with basically almost every song that Bruno Mars now makes, it, it just has these giant explosions where, you know, the drums go really big, the vocals go BAM, and then the kind of, the song kind of just descends, and then slowly but surely, it just, boom, it picks right up again, and there's like these climaxes, you know, multiple climaxes in the song, you know, all throughout. Very old school. But, you know, uh, 24K Magic had it, but, the, but this 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 album here, Silk Sonic, An Evening with Silk Sonic, has it all the time. Uh, and this song, of course, as well, and it fits right in, uh, you know, and it's great to hear every time, and, and there's always something new as well. And God damn it, the guitar, okay, that I pointed out towards the end of this song, this guy shreds. Okay, and he and he's killing. He is destroying, murdering this guitar in the background, and you hear it, and you can't help but feel it in your heart, and somewhere down there too. Like you feel it, man, and it really just hooks you, and again, it transports you to another dimension, another world. And I love the lyrical content, too. I love how it's literally just, uh, oh, okay, I just had uh, an evening with this girl, and now I can't stop thinking about her, and I want to see her again. And it's very innocent, but very honest, and it's something that we've all experienced. Right? We've all experienced that, right? Come on. I mean, you can't tell me that Bruno Mars is the only guy who's who's had an experience like that. <laughs> Come on, like every other guy can, too, right? Every other guy has experienced that, right? The chorus of this song, and really the chord progression of this song, is my favorite. This 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 track is easily my favorite from their whole An Evening with Silk Sonic album, for damn sure. Okay, just the percussion along with the groove, with the chord progression. It, it oh god, it's so, it just grabs you, it hooks you. You know, you hear the synth, right? You hear the chords in, in, in that synth, the boom, boom, boom. That was more like a bass demonstration with some percussion, but you get the idea. The freaking the doom doom doom. Oh, that is what gives me hope and motivation to continue living in this world. And the intro as well, you know, just with, with the with the woman and just kind of a oh the, the the even like the chord progressions that were going on in the beginning of this song, right in the very beginning, the intro. Ah, oh, just so chocolatey and so sweet and and luscious. That is definitely a word you can use to describe this song. It is luscious, my friend. But there we have it. That was my reaction and analysis to Silk Sonics After Last Night. I hope you enjoyed it, my friends. Go and share this video, if you will, if you liked it enough, to all your Bruno Mars loving friends. Like this video if you liked, dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content as well, right? I mean, come on, I mean, that's, that's kind of what you do, I mean. But let me know what other songs you would like me to tackle in this format. Usually I like to sit down and just stare at the camera like a weirdo. Here I'm staring at the camera like a weirdo standing up uh, with a little bit more gravitas, I guess. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. A little more Jim Carrey in me. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comment section if you like this song at all. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you freaking hate this song. You're like, what are you doing, super? But anyways, that's it for me. You guys take care. Stay safe, and until next time, I love you.
I love you. <laughs> For some reason, when you say it like that, it's really weird. It's all really weird. <sighs> Why so serious? Jesus, I'm really getting into this, aren't I? <laughs>